tell you what do you what, what's this week going to be like if you guys are going to go on the run that you want to go on? Uh, it's going to be hard. It's going to be a, a tough road. Everybody wants to win. It's not just we want to win. You can't just act like we're the only team that wants to win. Everybody wants to win no matter what the record is, re record is or seating. So that's usually how we uh, went about it. We never took anybody lightly. Everybody's going to try to bring their A game because they want to win. You just saw Washington State six days ago. What do you take from that to the rematch on Wednesday? Our, our effort, for sure. Our effort on both ends of the floor and our communication and our togetherness wasn't what it usually is right after a game like Arizona. So I think that we're, we just realized that when we played against Washington and, and brought that type of uh, our, that type of mindset to that game. So I think that if we just bring the same mindset, we'd be fine. First time you get played, then you really dominated them inside. Then this time, Paul gets into all the trouble in Kenny. And they were able to kind of match up with you guys a little more even inside. How do you see that matchup the first time around, kind of their bigs and you guys? Uh, um, I, I, I hope our, our bigs take care of each, you know, I mean, each other. Um, I think that we play together, we play really well together. But uh, if we stay out of foul trouble, I think we'll be fine. We'll be good in there, and, and, and we're pretty good inside. So I think we're going to have no problems. You guys have shown you can beat and hang with any team in the state. What's the difference between showing that and doing it for four straight? Uh, uh, probably just consistency. Um, defense travels, and that's one of the things that you know, I mean, is, is reoccurring with us when we play defense and hold the team to a certain amount of points or a certain amount of percentage for the game. I think that we win. So if we can do that on a consistent basis, then our, our, our team will be fine. But it just has to be consistency and understanding that it's like pretty much kind of like your life is on the line. So. What's that percentage sweet spot that you guys are? Uh, probably under like 40, probably the best, I think. You guys bounced back from the Los Angeles trip with some good wins here. You bounced back from the Wazoo game against Washington. Who's setting the tone in terms of that resiliency and, and bouncing back and not letting those those uh, linger? And well, well, Coach tried to fire under us after games like that, but at the same time, it's, it's up to us. So we come together and, and just talk about how we need to do better. And, and you know, I mean, we're a team, so we, we control everything on the court. Coach doesn't really have that much control. He can't play the game. All he can do is give us the schemes. So uh, we just realized that we need to do better, play harder, and, and focus on the, the things that coach tells us to focus on. And that's how we usually come back and do better. You mentioned consistency. Do you feel like you know what to count on from your team, game in, game out? Do you feel like you you, you know what you're going to see game in, game out? Yeah, if we come up with the right mindset, we can usually tell by uh, by how we warm up or how we're talking or how we're acting before the, how uh, the game is usually going to go because coach even can tell us. But I think that uh, right now our team is very hungry. And, wants to win, so that's the only thing I see right now from our team. Being a senior, have those nerves or, or that mentality, is that set in at all that, hey, this is the postseason, this is the last run for you and as an individual? Yeah, for sure. Uh, uh, me and Elijah were talking about it uh, yesterday, uh, two days ago, and we were just talking about like this could be our like, last chance playing together, or I mean, we could have a lot more games, so we can just like leave it all on the court. You know what I mean? There's nothing, you can't, there's, 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 there's a lot to lose, but at the same time, you're not going to, you know I mean? You can go out there and just give it your all without losing much. And if you go if you if you go down giving your all, then what else can you ask for? You, you did the best you could. What was, what was your guys' very first practice with this team like at the start of the year, and how are you guys different now? Oh, it was a lot. It was a lot tougher. We we didn't know each other. The, the, co the cohesion wasn't there. Uh, we didn't understand. Most of the guys didn't understand the, the concept of defense, uh, and we just we didn't we didn't understand concepts like we like we do now. I think our team is way more together and less uh, individuals. But uh, I think that's that's that we, we came together as a team now and we understand what coach wants to do. How much that was on the coach and how much was it on you guys? Uh, it, it was, it's kind of 50-50. At the same time, we come together off the court and, and talk about it and came together and, re and told each other that we want to be together. And being together is usually what keeps teams from like, winning. And, 